You're listening to The Reading Room live here on Siren FM. Let's give it a cheek cheer. God is good fun, isn't he? Now, every month on The Reading Room, we invite guests, colleagues, and sometimes even Joe Public to contribute to our 101 books to read before you die list. It's a brilliant idea for a snippet of radio that lets you in the nation's reading habits and recommendations. It's so good, I really wish I'd thought of it, but Johnny did. So tonight, we're going to hear the contribution by our regular book reviewer, Jill Hart. The Reading Room's 101 books to read before you die. This is Jill Hart, regular reviewer of the Reading Room Book Group, and the book I've chosen is Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome. Whilst leafing idly through a medical textbook, Jay discovers he is a medical marvel, suffering from every disease known to man, bar housemaid's knee. After serious consideration, his doctor issues him with the following prescription. One pound beefsteak with one pint bitter beer every six hours, one ten-mile walk every morning, one bed at 11 sharp every night, and don't stuff your head with stuff you don't understand. Shaken by this near brush with death, our hero, with two friends and a dog, sets off on a river trip up the Thames as a rest and healthy living restorative. He details a beautiful, idyllic picture of the landscape, sights, sounds and history of the river alongside the boy's exploits along the way. Tactics to avoid river swimming. The vagaries of kettles and frying pans for al fresco dining. Getting lost in Hampton Court maze. Being towed by girls. Fish tails, laundry tails. More than one pub and a strange run-in with an evil-minded swan. They conquer all except the British weather. For me, this is pure escapism to a kinder, simpler world where the absurdities of human nature can be smiled upon. I know of no better tonic. Three Men in a Boat has seen me through many bouts of flu, the sniffles and the blues of all descriptions. I am confident of its restorative powers and that they will last me a lifetime. Jill Hart, ladies and gentlemen. Now, regular listeners uh, will know that Jill adds the the clarity and perspective quite needed to our reading room book group. Uh, But also in the audience tonight is someone who who emails in regularly. Where's Cathy? She won't put her hand up. Someone, hiya, Cathy. Um, Now, Cathy's also been emailing in long before we got free books as well. So that that really counts. Thanks very much. Now, the next book we're going to review for our second anniversary program on Sunday, 1st of July, is The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry by Rachel Joyce. I've got your copy here, Cathy. Um, If you're going to read it or plan to read it, then let us know what you think. Uh, We can't get you a free copy, but we'd like to know all the same.